like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars we have those we call carnal christians the word carnal is not an insult it's just the way we shout it that makes people angry carnal is not the word carnal just means sense driven write it sense driven so you are born again but you are driven by your senses your five senses your sense of taste your sense of touch those kinds of people come fast if there's no food you can stay from one to three so long as you are not fasting but the day you are fasting by nine o'clock you're already sweating you see that on a very good day even by nine you will not have eaten but because you mentioned that word fasting your body said we'll see today by two you are sweating they say we have four more hours to go and you can't believe it by five o'clock you are already almost half dead as soon as they say the grace of our lord jesus christ you can't even wait that's why sometimes the church will even prepare something and say please please just wage it before you go to the restaurant you know carnal christians by their words by their actions the bible says when i was a child void of knowledge void of growth hallelujah he said i spoke like a child i understood like a child i thought like a child look up please so they are born again they are born again in fact they are even filled with the holy spirit but you hear them tell you see the next time that sister troubles me i swear i'm saying it now let god be my witness you are even asking god to be your witness because you do not yet know the lord you've just heard about him you've not had an encounter that has put a spirit of reverence in you are you following me now when the going gets tough you can do malpractice you understand when it gets tough if one allowed you send you text you say well me i won't go out with him oh, but god knows i will collect whatever i won't tell him no i won't tell him yes at least god will not you see that's it listen many believers in the body of christ are in this realm are you listening to me we can talk you see the language of church there are people who are not born again nollywood they have acted pastor in nigerian films they know the language they even pray in tongues in the nigerian film but it doesn't mean they are it praise the lord many of us are not born again indeed you are carnal, ruled by your senses when you check your bank balance and you see two thousand naira, your body starts shaking hey i need money oh god fire brigade prayer that has no head and no tail that is out of fear not faith oh god you have to do this you promise me i take your word before you you send almost five pastors a text you send to one he said it is done he said no way it's not done until it happens you're a canal there are people like that once someone is down everybody they can call everything that can happen they can run from room to room telling people things you shouldn't tell them because you are governed by your senses hallelujah you just went to bath and you saw a lump in your breast everybody just say what is wrong you are not normal I say nothing say what is wrong you say me me with all my coming to koinonia now you are saying god i'm doing this blah 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 the next thing you are talking you see there are many believers many of our families are in that realm we are refusing to grow this is what happens to many of our fathers look at this have you noticed that many of our fathers were better christians when they were young correct as they began to grow old god didn't make sense again it tells you you see why i'm teaching you this many of you are students you are not shouldering your finances you are not shouldering anything there are a few people that are workers and family members here but predominantly many of us are students somebody is sponsoring you so you've not been exposed to the reality of life are you following me now so some of these messages when i preach you need to see me preach 
in other places that is not koinonia and see the way the men grab these teachings because they can now relate with it for now it's not necessarily your faith that is bringing your provision for many of you whether you believe god or not at the end of the month you are receiving an alert so you are not yet sure many of you just keep giving tight all the time and you think you're a man of faith hold on the day your father tells you say look young man you are you are now behaving very responsible this is to announce to you that the next time you are coming you are getting out of my house please you can fend for yourself at your age i was already married out of my house then you leave listen listen then after one month or two months nothing happens to you again and you get angry at everybody so since this was a true state but you kept deceiving yourself on other people's this is why i'm teaching you this now some of you are being shielded now learn it before they expose you to the reality of life that's why at age 40 41 there are some people that are angry forever even if they are laughing the life they are they are they are mad at god that's why when they get any political office or as a man of god if they see any money or offering or whatever they won't let it rest because at this point now are you listening to me fear has come into them this is why many of our parents run back to the village some of them are choir masters in their churches and they sing songs my faith is my hope is built on nothing else and you see them do it with zeal immediately they finish monday they're on their way to the airport where are you going you are spending so much money they'll go and meet one baba now please help me you just sang that your hope is built on what nothing less the next minute you are consulting something then you consult that thing and get a contract and you come and tell people praise the lord when papa prayed for me i just slept and like magic everybody say magic magic and who is deceiving who hallelujah because you see many of us are in this realm some of us it took the hand of god to bring you back to the things of the spirit the first day you came to 100 level bubbling and saying yes every prophecy you had you just checked your result you saw 2.1 to carry over i said god i don't understand what did i do wrong is it that my prayer request didn't reach here or they didn't see it something begins to happen to you when you hear somebody comes to testify praise the lord i got 4.6 you say look what is going on in this place is it that there are some people go, you see and then you hear people say some of us so oh, we are not the people of god and many believers laugh over this but we will not rise do you know that 90 percent of people that remain in this realm may lose their salvation eventually because satan knows how to orchestrate events that will make the word of god look useless in your life are you listening to me many of us are just governed by result result you came to be prayed for they laid hands on you you went back the sickness didn't leave the next thing you just say forget this thing they are doing me have confirmed is fake let me tell you something i've prayed for many people some of them died a few days after i prayed for them if you say i'm not a man of god because i prayed for somebody and he died you must be a foolish person doctors kill people every day what do we call them say it what do we call them it's not a thing of laughter because i'm sad in my spirit I know that i need to contend are you listening to me for more grace and more unction of the spirit but there are many of us who don't grow that's why many people like a prophet over my life or a this now i believe in the place of covering but not the demonic teaching that has been taught the church because what a lot of men of god have taught is don't worry once you are under my church or my roof i will cover for you go and do whatever my anointing covers for you let me tell you something that means the day that man of god is not there you see what makes people depend on the man of god 
carnal believers. This is my concern in the body of Christ. There are some of you who are seated. There is no passion in you. When we see, listen, when we talk about, when we talk about prayer, when we say everybody stand to pray, honestly, you are not even relating with the message. You don't know whether you should pray or not. You don't care. I see it in some of us. Because you don't have a revelation of what it will do in your life. Whether you pray or not, your father just calls and says, I just got a contract of five billion. And you are like, this doesn't make sense. Why are they punishing me in Koinonia? You pray fast, tight. Your father has even told you, fine rest, just finish degree so that it will be that you have degree, for God's sake. And you say, I'm sure of 10 million that my father kept for me. Have you not seen the great fall into nothing? Ask Nebuchadnezzar. Many of us really do not have faith in God. We have faith in people. It's just that the people look strong and stable. Hallelujah. Are you listening to me?